Wastewater Dan presents wastewater math calculated with Excel spreadsheets. As a new service of ESDLT's Environmental Academy, environmentalacademy.com. Today's example, calculate waste activated sludge gallons per minute. Today's problem reads, an activated sludge process has three aeration basins. Each basin is 90 feet long, 45 feet wide, and 12 feet deep with MLSS of 2,750 mg slash L. There are two clarifiers. Each clarifier is 36 feet in diameter and 11 feet deep with solids of 500 mg slash L. Sludge age is 15 days. WAS MG slash L is 5,950 and pumped 17 minutes per hour. Calculate WAS GPM. So I have the basic formula for this uh, up top here, which is waste activated sludge gallons per minute equals the waste activated sludge gallons for one day divided by the combination of the number of minutes per hour times the number of hours per day. So we don't have the, um, the waste activated sludge gallons in our problem, in the data in our problem, uh, but we've got, a we got the information where we can calculate it. We do have the number of minutes per hour that, that the um, the uh, waste activated sludge is pumped, and we certainly know how many hours in a day, but we've got to calculate these gallons. So I have that as the uh, formula down here on the bottom of this uh, spreadsheet here. Um, the uh, waste activated sludge gallons for one day is 34,541 gallons, and that is um, calculated by using the um, waste activated sludge pounds for one day, um, which is published in an earlier video, um, which is 1714.0448. Now the earlier video shows this as one decimal. So if you take your Excel spreadsheet and extend it out to four decimals, this will be the number that you would get in that video. Now, this is somewhat of an in, uh, uh, involved formula because this formula uses the basic poundage calculation formula for uh, a tank when the concentration is from lab results, which in this case, the concentration is 5,950 uh, milligrams per liter. So. The way we modify the formula is that we do the reverse uh, of what we do when we take gallons and insert them into a basic formula uh, that uses concentrations in milligrams per liter, and we put it into a formula that modifies it so that it, 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 it's, it solves for gallons instead of solving for pounds because we have the pounds and we have the concentration. So. We're going to take the pounds and we're going to divide it by the, the, the combination of the concentration times the conversion factor. And we're going to recognize that because the um, concentration is in increments of millions, that result would be in increments of millions. But since we need to express the result in gallons, we're going to multiply by a million to express it as gallons. So the formula to calculate the waste activated sludge gallons for one day is going to be the 1714.0448 divided by the combination of 5950 times 8.34. And that total result is going to be multiplied by a million and that's where we get our 34,541 gallons.
So you can go to a blank spreadsheet, you can go in uh, cell A1, you can type in the description, you can go into A1, you can uh, set it up as uh, whole numbers with, with, with uh, commas for every thousand. You can uh, then go in the formula bar and you can type in this formula, equal sign, open parentheses, 1714.0448, close parentheses, divided by two open parentheses, 5950 um, inside uh, a close parenthesis multiplication key, um, open parenthesis 8.34, two close parentheses times a million, and that's your 34,541. Um, so refer to the video if you want to get the pounds and uh, study this formula if you want to get the uh, modified formula to calculate the gallons. So now we can take that gallons, the 34,541, and we can insert it up here into our formula that calculates the waste activated sludge GPM. And what we do here is we say that the 34,541 is the gallons for that, that's pumped for an entire 24-hour cycle for one day. And we're actually going to take that and spread that out evenly over the number of minutes in that day. And so the number of minutes in that day is going to be the number of minutes per hour times the number of hours in the day. So therefore, the formula is going to be waste activated sludge GPM equals waste activated sludge gallons divided by the number of minutes times the number of hours in a day. And so you can go to a uh, blank Excel spreadsheet. You can put your cursor in C1 and type this description, WAS GPM. You can go to A1. You can set it as, as whole numbers. Uh, and then you can make a bold and centered. And you go to the uh, formula bar. You type in equal sign, open parenthesis, 34541, close parenthesis, divided by two open parentheses, 17, close parentheses, times uh, open parenthesis, 24, two close parentheses. Then you can hit the equal sign or the return, uh, hit the um, equal or return bar, and this is where you get 85. So 85 is the waste activated sludge uh, GPM. So I hope you found this uh, video to be useful and helpful. If so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I also encourage you to participate and interact by commenting and submitting questions. You can go to environmentalacademy.com. You can do that through the email form uh, on my website, or you can um, take the uh, email address and just send me uh, an email. In any event, I appreciate you listening. Uh, come back often because I will be uh, publishing videos at least once weekly, and thanks for uh, listening to this eight-minute video.